Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. All right, I'm in the middle of producing a step-by-step -step video of how to get into door dashing from uh, the ground floor if you've never done it before. Doing this for two reasons. First reason, why not? Everybody else has. I'm going to throw my hat into the ring. Number two, a buddy of mine has heard me talk about door dashing. He's retired and he's thinking about maybe looking into it. So I thought, hey, let's make a step-by-step -step tutorial how to get into DoorDash. When I got to the segment of the video that explains how the DoorDash delivery algorithm works, I thought to myself, you know what, this can be a standalone video. There's a lot of misleading information out there about how the DoorDash delivery algorithm actually works, and some of it is just flat out quackery, woo-woo, and lies. All right, let's roll the footage. All right, let's take a quick look at the DoorDash delivery algorithm. Having a basic understanding of the delivery algorithm is the single most important factor in becoming an efficient and profitable dasher. DoorDash has the goal that the entire order delivery process take no more than one hour. That's from the initiation of the customer placing the order, the merchant store preparing the order, you the DoorDasher arriving at the merchant store picking up the customer's order and delivering it to the customer. Your job of delivering it to the customer is known as last mile delivery in the delivery gig industry. This last mile delivery segment of the entire process is where most of the challenges arise for the food delivery gig industry. Prior and current delivery AI algorithm programs cannot handle this type of business model. For example, let's use UPS. The delivery algorithm for UPS knows that each and every day each driver will start from a common hub within each specific delivery zone and then proceed from that common hub to the final last mile delivery customers. The DoorDash delivery algorithm has drivers that are scattered throughout an entire zone and are all heading to different physical addresses in order to pick up their orders for the last delivery mile. UPS has the knowledge for literally days where a package is, where it's traveling in the country, and where it is going to be finally delivered. The entire DoorDash order preparation and delivery program takes place in under an hour, and in many cases in my market, 20 minutes. UPS has forehand knowledge for the most part of how many delivery drivers they are going to have for each and every day. With DoorDash, the number of drivers available changes every hour. You can see what kind of a logistics puzzle this is for DoorDash and other on-demand delivery gig services. In the video description, I have a couple of links to a couple of articles that I found in my research of the DoorDash delivery algorithm. They are very heavy on the technical side, but I gained some insight into the DoorDash delivery algorithm from reading these articles. The platform uses ML, which stands for machine learning, to figure out optimal solutions for the vehicle routing problem to ensure shorter delivery times for consumers, higher pay for dashers, and increased income for merchants. The ML model considers factors such as the food processing time, travel time, delivery location, and the driver's location to match drivers for delivery. It is this statement, particularly the last part of the statement, and the driver's location to match drivers for delivery, that causes all the confusion and all the concern. There are thousands of YouTube channel videos and Reddit forums where drivers are making claims that Tony, the CEO of DoorDash and DoorDash Algorithm, is screwing you over so they can make billions. The algorithm is rigged, they say, and then they offer up proof. Let's look at some of these claims. I've been sitting at a particular restaurant for 20 minutes. I haven't gotten one order offer. Then another door dasher drives up, walks into the restaurant, and picks up an order. How come I didn't get that order? Then there are those that claim if you sit in your car in one spot for too long, you're not going to get any orders. Remember, they're tracking you on GPS, of course. Tony and DoorDash is going to screw you over if your car's not driving around in circles. Many door dashers claim that having a very high acceptance rating rewards you with better order offers. I had a conversation with one such individual that claimed that he'd even figured it out down to five percentage point increases in your accepted trading exponentially gave you better offers. Just as many claim that having a high acceptance rate screws you over and the only way to get good orders is to have a very, very, very low acceptance rating. 
All of these claims, when offered up as proof and evidence that the DoorDash delivery algorithm is rigged, are patently false. You, you see it. For every group of DoorDashers that claim this, there's an equal group of DoorDashers that claim that. There's a segment of door dashers out there that are called cherry pickers. These are the people that decline just about every order that DoorDash sends them way except the extremely high paying low mileage delivery gigs. Many of these cherry pickers proudly proclaim they're down to 3, 4, 5% acceptance rating. Well, the obvious question is, if they have such low acceptance rating numbers, why are they getting great offers? There is a segment of DoorDashers that work from home in their zones. They stay at home until an order uh, comes up to them, and then they take it and go. So they're static. They're not driving around in circles. They're not driving around in zone. Why are they getting offers? When you see such competing theories cancel each other out, it's a safe bet that neither of them are absolutely 100% correct. Now, I'm not going to say that these experiences, uh, as related, did not happen. They probably did, but they offer up no cause and effect that can be proven. So, let's unpack this, as they say, and try to reach a logical and reasonable conclusion as to how the DoorDash delivery algorithm actually works, and better yet, how you can make it work to your benefit. Number one is, you are an independent contractor that is providing services for DoorDash. As an independent contractor, you can work whenever you want. You can take any job you want, and you can refuse any and every job that comes your way. Whether it is rule or law or personal choice, it is in DoorDash's best interest to have as level of a playing field as possible. A policy requiring the independent contractor to be within a very narrow range of acceptance of jobs would probably drive 90% of us away. The DoorDash Top Dasher program does have a very narrow set of parameters that you must meet in order to join the program, but joining the program is completely voluntary. But given the fact that your job acceptance rating can have no bearing whatsoever in the number of offers that come your way or the quality of the offers that come your way, in short, makes the algorithm somewhat of a lottery system, contrary to the fact that they want to match the best driver to the job for that given occasion. The algorithm, while having a core goal, must spread the wealth around, if you will. This will cause situations to arise where it seems like the algorithm is acting in the exact opposite intent of the algorithm. And again, the logic behind this is, if the algorithm did not have this lottery system built in, then pretty soon they're going to be very short on door dashers if there's a very, very specific set of parameters that must be met in order to get an order offer. And there are no hidden tricks, there are no hidden secrets within the DoorDash algorithm in which a super sleuth can figure out and then broadcast to you. If the DoorDash algorithm had such hidden features and you and I found out about it, man, that's a class action lawsuit, man. DoorDash puts out a policy and then has hidden aspects within that policy? Nah, that is not going to fly and they're not going to do that. That's why I implore you to just, you know, ignore any and every claim that anybody can make that, hey, this is what I found and this is what you need to do and this is what you can't do. It's a waste of time, energy, and focus. If any of these theories or claims had any validity, the thousand door dashers that watched a specific video offering up a certain theory or claim would have tried that in their market, found out that it worked, the video would have gone viral, and then they would have crashed the algorithm. That hasn't happened yet, and that's the greatest condemnation of each and every one of these theories or claims. Every DoorDash video out there, including mine, that offer up tips and tricks, and I wish I knew this, and I want to pass this on to you, may not work in your market. In fact, the exact opposite strategy is what you may need to employ in order to make money. I no longer do searches on YouTube for DoorDash tips and tricks. Uh, you know, I'm just tired of it. it. There's so much misinformation and misleading information put out there. It's a waste of time. 
Sometimes a DoorDash video will pop up in my feed as a recommendation to watch. I ignore 99 out of 100 of them now because, again, they're just a waste of my time. But sometimes the headline will, uh, you know, uh, draw me in, and I've just got to go see what kind of quackery and woo-woo this guy's putting out today. God, I hate to do it because it gives them views, and if they're monetized, that makes money for them, and they're promoting absolute, pardon my language, bullshit. The DoorDash delivery algorithm is proprietary programming, and DoorDash is never going to share that with anybody. It's their baby. It's their bread and butter. It's how they and you and I make money. This is where I come down again and again and again. Learn your market. Know your market and work your market. After a period of time of working your market, patterns and consistencies will present themselves, including the fact that it's not consistent. Develop a core strategy that appears to work, but don't be afraid to mix it up once in a while when the market mixes it up. There are no tricks. There are no secrets secretly built into the algorithm and hidden from plain view. Learn your market, know your market, and work your market to the best of the ability that you have so you can exploit, if you will, what your market has to offer. Ignore any and every claim that thinks they found something and they just can't wait to share it with you. Ultimately, you may find yourself trying one of these strategies or secrets or tricks out and it's just going to cost you money in the long run. There are no secrets. There are no tricks. That's the secret. There are no secrets. Learn to work with that and you're going to be so much better off in the long run. Alright guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself. Thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time.